Welcome folks to the Rising Stars, the program that we bring to you every week where we look at uh, the competencies, the aptitudes, the technical aspects in terms of uh, the talents that are embedded in the people that we talk to. And today on set, uh, as our norm, I have a very important guest that we are going to be talking to and uh, discussing and exploring at length so that we get to know who this guy is. But as you can see, it's a gentleman that we have in studio and today we are going to be talking to Kino. Did I get that correct? Okay, yeah, Kino, that's the character that I play. But my gov my government name uh, is uh, Ronald Sikauki. Ronald, thank you very much for introducing yourself because people <laughs> out there, they know you as Kino. But uh, as we are now exploring who Kino is, this is Ronald Sugauke. Uh, Ronald is an actor, mm -hmm. uh, a producer. Mm -hmm. um, there's so many things that really happens uh, in his life. So I'm not going to go deeper into saying it myself because if I preempt, then we won't be able to get the gist of the story from the man himself. Now, just tell us, Ronald has traveled a journey within the film industry. Okay, okay, and okay. Uh, let me just say in the arts industry. True. Just take us through the journey that you have actually traveled so far to get you to where you are today. Okay, well, uh, it's been a long journey. Mm -hmm. um, I started way back in 2004. Then forward, fast forward, I was uh, a TV presenter. Mm -hmm. um, I was presenting music calabash and a bit of music request. Then, uh, yeah, look, I'm, 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 I'm doing boom <laughs> I got suspended. I was not so keen as well. Then uh, we crossed the floor to Vanenda Kupos TV. Okay. Then I, I did uh, this program ends one on one. Pastors and this one here yeah, on the dot, on the yeah, low bills. Mm -hmm. I was the producer, presenter of it. Yeah, then mm, I was with this uh, media that's be identified. Then we did a lot of uh, music videos. Then I was still with that media. Uh, we did an under shami sikas or nita song in Kambarami. I was a makeup artist then. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, then I started managing artists. I once managed uh, the likes of Pianos Jaravaza, Leonard Mapfumo, Kule, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we thought of, uh, um, why can't we do something? Uh, then we went back to ZBC briefly, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have to use the Then, uh, you know how it is. Then we started doing this show here in the, the world we live in. Under broadcasting authorities of Zimbabwe, oh, oh, it's, okay. a, it's one of its own kind. Mm -hmm. It was showing by ZBC some months back. And then we did Kuchina, then oh. we did Sawira. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, wow, that's that's a wealth of experience, if I can say. Mm -hmm. So it means you have gone into acting, you have been a music manager, you have been a producer, a TV presenter. Wow, a father. Oh, <laughs> that's the most important <laughs> one. <laughs> yes, that, it's, it's quite an experience to be a father, I tell you. Mm -hmm. Yes, but um, now bringing you back to um, what you do best, mm -hmm. uh, you are now in the film industry, and right now it, you, you have been projected onto the fore mm -hmm. uh, as an actor taking part uh, in Kuchina, and you are playing Kino. Mm -hmm. Now, can, can you just uh, explain to us, how did you end up in the set? Oh, well, uh, on that one, I, I want to thank my director, that's uh, Bless Gatsi. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, mm, one day I was like, you know what, Ron, I want you to play this role. Okay. Mm, look, he's an um, mm, early morning guy, so around 2 a.m. he called. Ron, I want you to play this character. He won't really go not yet. Then the script came. Yeah, then bang. 
Dopatit Bank. And then you were in it. <laughs> so Kuchina is 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 one of the productions that we've actually gone through. Mm -hmm. You you talked about one more um production that you were also in, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, there are two actually. There's another one in Sawira. Uh -huh. Sawira. Uh -huh. There's uh, the world we live in. The world we live in. So all this you have been on set as an actor. Actually, the world we live in. I was a co-producer. You were co-producer. Uh, okay. Sawira. Mm -hmm. I was the producer. Okay. Mm -hmm. So production and, and acting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So now. Uh, whilst we want to, I, I know being a producer comes with, with a lot of things that comes with it, but we want to try and focus right now on your acting career. Okay. Yes. The acting career when you were called and, and, and you accepted, mm -hmm. what really inspired you to go into acting? Wow, that's a big one. Look, uh, naturally me being an artist, mm -hmm. you know how it is, uh, you, you, you've got stories to tell. Uh, you really want people to see the other side of you. Uh, you really want to express certain things in your way. Because look, if I watch somebody playing a character, I'm like, maybe they will not as so. So this is me there now. And I go back I'm like, okay. You always say, you are not as There you are. <laughs> <laughs> and you really feel the pressure and appreciate those people. And I'm going to go ah, But when you're at home, Dara, you die. I'm going to go Man. Yes. Hey, but pressure. So it's like you, you, you also wanted to have a feel of what it is like in front of the camera, you know, having been behind the camera. More like it. Ah, super. <laughs> now at least you have uh, you, you have both worlds. Both worlds yeah, you have behind and in and front. <laughs> behind the camera and in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now looking at it, you have been a producer, mm -hmm. you are an actor, mm -hmm. uh, you have been a manager. Mm -hmm running all these uh, different portfolios. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you look at the Zimbabwean arts industry, mm -hmm. given an opportunity, looking at how it is right now, given an opportunity, what changes do you think you would make or what changes do you think should happen within the arts industry in Zimbabwe for things really to move and have the arts projected to a level where we compete with the counterparts in the region, Central Africa and the rest of the world. Wow, that's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Where do I start? All right. What we need to do? Mm, we need to start uh, supporting arts from grassroots. Look, maybe no dancing. Teach them and teach the children the right way, so that they won't depart from it. Okay. Okay. So. Vachirivana, that's when you need to school them. Mm -hmm. mm. Why can't we increase maybe ma, 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 a lot of schools of arts mm -hmm. where children are taught? Mm -hmm. You know, look, once you identify, okay, my, my, my son or my daughter is gifted in this area, enroll this, the person, the, the, the son or the daughter more field. More field. Yeah. And then hmm, the government. Mm -hmm. The same way they do when it comes to certain things like soccer. Plant mm -hmm. my allocations, my yearly allocations for budget. Okay. They should allocate something mm -hmm. for, for, for this industry. Okay. Look at Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Nigeria is not popular in Nigeria, but the, 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 Nollywood, Nollywood on its own managed to put Nigeria in Nigeria for me. Mm -hmm. So Zollywood can still do the same only when you've got full government support. Full government support. It's, okay. it, it's very important. Mm -hmm. That one is very important. Well, and well, also, and, and, oh, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, no, and, and, and also, there. maybe allocate a certain maybe piece of land mm -hmm. uh, and whereby we can, we can build my prop houses. Because most artists out there, we struggle. We build this big thing. Then people can always come and change this furniture and ABCD. Then you do your thing. It will make it easier even for a young man who is uh, starting to be in this journey. Wow. That is a mouthful. I, I, I see there are a lot of things that you really envisage. And using your experience, you have actually taken us through. But I hope the powers that be are also watching and taking note in terms of what really needs to be done, the issue of the prop houses, the issue of funding. Uh, 
But how do artists also come in? Because one thing that we have realized is uh, governments can always have budgets that they can have mm -hmm. uh, in terms of, why, of funding certain programs. But how do artists also come in so that when, when, when we have a budget allocation, we then upscale everything. What, what, what would, should artists do in their own space <laughs> so that they also complement that? Okay, I, I, I'll take it like irrelevant. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can I relay Set up your chimuti. You have got a part to play. So chimuti chino is the way I walk to manyao. So as an artist, you should be doing something so that when those those monies come, you are already in motion. Oh, that's 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 quite that's great because uh, I've I've heard a lot of people also talk about you know waiting for government, waiting for this. But I like it that you are also encouraging others, and this is exactly why we have brought you on set so that your experience in the arts. You can, we can actually use that to assist the rising stars who are also coming up because they are venturing into programs, they are venturing into projects, and we would want to see them brought to the fore. And quite the experience that you've talked about. And I'm just hoping that everybody who's watching, uh, you are tuned into Rising Stars, and we have Ronald Sugauke here, famously known as Kino, on uh, the program Kuchina that is uh, airing on the local TV station. And I hope you have been interacting with the gentleman and you continue to interact more with him. Um, Ronald, people know you as Kino and I'll continuously uh, refer to you as Ronald or Kino. Mm, it's fine. We, we have a menace within the arts industry okay. uh, that everybody talks about, which is piracy. No, no, no. What, what is your take on piracy? <sighs> piracy, piracy, piracy. Okay. Piracy, it's something that you can't run away from. Mm -hmm. I would take it as if maybe you end up a doctor or when the nurse a cancer. Okay. You can't run away from it, but mm -hmm. as artists, we need to find ways to tackle it or find ways. Like, uh, I think go to technological advancement. Mm -hmm. Instead of crying, mm -hmm. why can't you put our work uh, on social media, mm -hmm. then monetize the, the, the accounts, YouTube, Facebook, and monetize and still make money? Okay, okay. Uh, Ronald. We have this menace uh, within the arts industry that everybody has been crying about. And uh, what is your take on piracy? Wow, piracy. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll take it as if maybe the end of the doctor nurse. Then the doc says, uh, Ronnie, when he cancer. It's something that I can run away from, mm -hmm. but I should find ways to live with that Donald Wade say. Look, piracy is here to stay. It's not going anywhere. But we also thank God for technological advancement. Because now artists, they can still put their works by uh, social media, uh, the likes of uh, Instagram, Instagram, YouTube, YouTube Facebook, uh, and monetize and still make money, get paid for, for, for views. Mm -hmm. OK. There you are, folks. He's, he's, he's talking about monetizing the, the arts industry using social media, and I hope uh, those with the technical aptitude can venture into it and, and, and help us so that we no longer cry about uh, the issues of piracy, but we can actually counter it so that it becomes, you know, we become very productive people in the arts and we, 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 we draw the benefits out of the works. Um, Ronald, your profile is too big, if I should say, because producer, actor, presenter. From from the history that you have given, mm -hmm. what would you then say these have been my greatest achievements so far? Okay. Wow. Anything that I managed to do by myself, I was I'll take it as something that I've uh, that, 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 I, that I maybe can I take it again? Okay, anything that um, I did by myself without the aid of my parents, mm -hmm. it's something that I, I count as my greatest achievement. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. Um, and uh, I, I, I enjoy more being a producer mm -hmm. than in front of the camera. Okay. Yeah, dealing with the figures, the logistics. Uh, those obstacles, 
you know, 11th hour crisis here, location here, so they saw that guy didn't turn up and you know, you know, you know, yeah. There's no pressure, but there's a time where we got addicted, we got addicted to that pressure. And so we can safely say you draw more of your satisfaction in being a producer mainly. Yeah. Because that's where you get to see your your bigger achievements as a producer. Okay, you you, you are saying it, it's easier to say this I own because I've been part and parcel of directing it. Mm. Ah, that is great. Okay, so you know we we, we want to look at uh, how you are projecting the next uh, five years in terms of your career. What, what goals do you want to achieve in the next five years as, as a producer, as an actor, as a presenter? What are, you, what, what are your targets? To be honest, uh, if God permits, I, I, I want to be that uh, stepping stone for people that are out there. Trust me, believe you me, Zimbabwe is full of talent. There are people of, uh, there, there are a lot of people who are in, 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 in areas, I'm mm -hmm. maybe Nana, Mashingo, Inyanga, you know, they, they, they've got a lot of talent, they, they, they are very much talented, but nobody can notice them much. But a lot of people run notice around within the towns, like Blawayo and maybe Harare. But uh, a lot of artists out there, they are not noticed, they are not but they are very good. So from, from the response you've given, your implication is you really want to go and venture into the rural community, the farm community, where majority of uh, the producers are shunning. Very true. It's, it's, it's actually a journey that we have started already. It's the ball that is rolling already because I own um, a media house. Yeah. So ah. we, we, we have started putting structures in place. That's super. Do you have any upcoming projects that you would really want to be talking about? Uh, so that people can look forward to those ones. <sighs> okay, okay. Mm, okay, there's a lot coming, mm -hmm. but uh, I can't disclose the names and maybe a bit of their synopsis because uh, you know you know how it is as artists. Tomorrow morning you will see it. Yango and then bang, it's there. <laughs> like this is my idea, but oh, super. Well done. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I can see the man is very conservative. Just a quick one. Mm -hmm. If you were to act outside Zimbabwe, where would you want to go? Uh, I, I prefer to be in Zimbabwe. Home is best. I'm a Zimbabwean by nature, and I can't run away from Zimbabwe. Uh, I, I, what I can urge, maybe, uh, is, is what I can do is to urge other, other Zimbabweans out there uh, to come back, you know, and better our country. Together, we'll make it. Super. That's, that's super. There you <laughs> go, guys. This is why we have brought the men to the set. This is Ronald Sigauke. He is an actor, a producer, um, a father, is, a father. is a father also, Say it, and I mean, a manager, <laughs> a father. and he has been here on the Rising Stars. And uh, unfortunately, Ronald, we, can, we could have you the whole day here, but uh, because of time, we have to be leaving set, we have to cut so that we then uh, go on to the next production. But thank you very much for coming and uh, sharing with us your journey and sharing with us your views in terms of the arts industry and everything that we are going through. And uh, we hope that uh, in the next few years, we should be able to bring you back again and then talk about the certain issues that we have discussed and further explore them. Thank you so much for being on set. And to our lovely viewers, continue subscribing to Rising Stars on May on Blessed Media Channel and we hope that we continue to link up, continue to give us the feedback and tell us more and tell us who you want to be on set next when we come back. Thank you so much. I'm your host, Donald McFumo, also known as Father Two Kids. I'm out of here.